So this is the final step in drawing the phase portrait for a nonlinear system in differential equations. This is all the previous work that I found. And again, we've kind of taken a look at it to make sure it all uh, fits together. So in other words, at 0, 0, I have a source. At 0, 50, I have a saddle. I have a sink here at 100. And again, these are guidelines that are going to help me determine what's going to happen when I draw my phase portrait. When you draw your phase portrait, you usually don't put this stuff in there, but you refer to it. So I have an equilibrium point here, here, and here. I'm going to include those in my drawing at the bottom. But you can see if I use my pencil, pencil, see the pencil, see? I, if I think about starting in different areas of the plane and moving, where does everything end up? So it looks like if I come out of the origin, I have to go horizontally through the circle and I will end up down here. Again, these are just test ones. If I come out of here, I am going to end up going horizontal here and then I end up going down in that direction. If I come down from up here, I go vertical through that line, then down. If I come down from here, I should follow the arrow and that arrow, create my little saddle shape. And then down here, I'll go vertical and then down here. Now these are not touching. These are all asymptotic to one another, but that's the idea behind the phase portrait. But you don't want to turn that in. That's not your final phase portrait. You want to do that again in one final big picture in order to have a really good drawing. Now what I tend to do is I will lightly put in the null clines just to help me out. But I will do my 100, my 50, my 100, and 50. Lightly draw in my null clines with a pencil, not a pen. There it is. And then this is going to come around like a circle. Okay. Now I want to mark my equilibrium points. There is an equilibrium point, equilibrium point at the origin, and then at 100, 0. So this is a, according to this, this should be a source. This is a saddle, and that's a sink. And you need to make sure that your face plane mimics that, shows that that's true. Now, remember I go through this guy horizontally, I move through this guy vertically. So if I come out from the origin, I'm going to be horizontal through the circle and then sucked into the sink. If I come up high out of the origin, I'm still going to go through that horizontally and then be pulled in by the sink. My pen is a little rough right now. Probably running out of ink. Let's see if I have another pen. Pen, 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 pen. Here it is. All right, let's make sure this one's working. Yeah. Let's put another piece of paper under this too. That helps. All right. So this guy is going to come out here. If I come down from the top. I'll come down probably almost vertical like that. I'll be going vertical through the line. And here I'm just going to make it very obvious that that's a saddle. So in the end, there's your face portrait. Now, a lot of students get frustrated because of that circle-shaped null climb, but again, you just have to think of it as a guide and create your face portrait like this. So there you have it, face portrait of a nonlinear system.